Good afternoon, dear students. Today we will talk about the most popular tests from the Croc One base. Uh, the topic of our discussion is called Laboratory Diagnostics of Staphylococcal Infections. I have selected five uh, the most common tests on this topic for you. Please accept my apology if there are some mistakes uh, in the text or in my speech. Unfortunately, I don't have enough English speaking practice. Uh, this is not my native language, but English is uh, the language of science. So, let's start. Test number one. In a patient with pustular skin lesions, uh, the pathogen was isolated, which on blood agar forms around medium-sized yellow colonies surrounded by a zone of hemolysis. In smears from colonies, cocci located in uh, clusters of irregular shape gram-positive, the isolated culture is oxidase-negative and catalase-positive, ferments mannitol, synthesizes plasma coagulase, which of the following uh, corresponds to the selected pathogen. The correct answer is A, Staphylococcus aureus. Why? Because uh, in this test you can see a lot of key words. For example, this pathogen has yellow colonies. We know that only Staphylococcus aureus has the ability to synthesize lipochromic uh, pigment. This carotenoid pigment uh, consists of certain fractions and uh, this pigment is uh, synthesized only under aerosol conditions. Also, we can see that this pathogen forms a hemolysis zone on blood agar. You can see it uh, in the photo, yes? Uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus don't have hemolysins, but Streptococcus uh, agalactia and Streptococcus pyogenes also can form a hemolysis zone on blood agar because uh, there are beta hemolytic uh, streptococci. Mm, uh, beta hemolysis is complete hemolysis, yes? Uh, also, we see that our pathogen is oxidase negative and catalase positive. This is typical for uh, staphylococci, uh, but uh, streptococci are catalase negative microorganisms. Uh, catalase uh, converts uh, hydrogen peroxide into water and uh, oxygen. After applying hydrogen peroxide uh, to the staphylococcus colony, uh, we will see four. In this photo you can see uh, some example such as catalase positive microorganism and uh, catalase negative uh, bacteria. Also you can see that our microorganism uh, synthesizes plasma coagulase. Uh, plasma coagulase converts fibrinogen to fibrin. Therefore we will see a clot after three hours of incubation of epiculture in um, the titrated plasma of a rabbit. Only Staphylococcus aureus uh, has this enzyme. In this photo you can see this positive reaction. Uh, also you can see that uh, our bacteria is located in clusters uh, of irregular shape. This form is uh, typical for staphylococci. Staphylococci is a spherical microorganism uh, that uh, divide uh, sequentially in three orthogonal planes. Yes? Um, but um, streptococci they look like uh, chains, yes, because streptococci can divide uh, in one plane. Also, you can see that our bacteria is gram-positive, but uh, in this test uh, this is uh, not the key word, uh, because uh, all cocci, uh, except uh, Neisseria, the causative agents of meningitis and honorrhea, are gram-positive. And Staphylococcus aureus, uh, uh, Epidermidis saprophyticus, uh, Streptococcus agalactia, and uh, Pyogenes uh, are gram positive too. Okay, the correct answer is A. Staphylococcus aureus. Next test. 
uh, the feces of a child with enteritis are emulsified in a physiological solution and a drop of emulsion is applied to the elective medium 10% milk salt or yolk salt agar which microorganism is expected to be isolated the correct answer is a staphylococci you must remember that uh, staphylococci are halophiles they like um, uh, salty medium unlike other microbes such as Escherichia coli, Streptococcus, Klebsiella, Enterococci. Yes. Also, only Staphylococcus aureus has lecithinase. We can determine it by sowing Staphylococcus on yolk salt agar. There will be a turbidity zone around the colonies in the, this photo. You can see it because um, Lecithinase destroys lecithin in the yolk. By the way, it can also destroy lecithin of the cell membranes of leukocytes. Um, so the correct answer is a staphylococci. Next question. A child with a diagnosis of staphylococcal sepsis was admitted to the hospital. On what nutrient medium should the patient's blood be sown in order to isolate the pathogen? The correct answer is sugar pepton broth. Because uh, blood culture for sterility should be carried out on liquid nutrient uh, media, such as broth, because the bacteria in the blood are adapted to the liquid environment. And all the culture mediums that you have uh, impossible answers are solid, yes? Therefore, the correct answer is sugar pepton broth. Next question. Two days uh, after uh, tooth extraction, the patient developed an inflammatory process of the jawbone. The causative agent of inflammation was Staphylococcus aureus, resistance to beta-lactam, such as penicillin. What is the structure of the staphylococcal bacterial cell responsible for resistance to beta-lactam antibiotics? The correct answer is our plasmid. A plasmid uh, is a small extrachromosomal DNA molecule uh, that can code uh, some important uh, components for bacteria. For example, beta-lactamase uh, is a type uh, of uh, uh, enzymes which make bacterial resistance to beta-lactam antibiotics by breaking their beta-lactam ring. In this photo uh, you can see the structure of beta-lactamase. Yes. Beta-lactamase is encoded by a resistance uh, plasmid uh, such as R plasmid. Yes. Other components are not genetic uh, except F plasmid. Uh, these plasmids belong uh, to a class of conjugative plasmids. So the correct answer is A R plasmid. Last questions. In uh, kindergarten, a few hours after eating the cheese mass, Almost all children suddenly developed symptoms of gastroenteritis. Staphylococcus aureus was isolated during bacteriological examination of rheumite and cheese residues because uh, some uh, staphylococci can produce uh, enterotoxins. Uh, how to continue research to clarify the source of infections? The keywords uh, in this test. Uh, it's called a source of infection. Source. The correct answer is A. Phagotyping of selected strains. Because strain specific bacteriophages make it possible to identify the source of the infection. In order to determine the phage type, you need to drop specific bacteriophages on a pure culture of Staphylococcus. If after one day of incubation we see a cell lysosome, then we will determine the phage type. In this photo you can define the phage type as 3B, uh, 42E and 187. Ok, the correct answer is A. Phagotyping of selected strains. We are done! Thank you for your attention. See you later!